So hello, Sag, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy, and I'm going to be doing the reading for you today. It is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, don't force it to fit. You know, you check out your other planetary aspects, you know, moon sign, rising sign, all that good stuff. Um, I do use profanity and talk about adult things on the channel. So if you have children around or just don't appreciate that kind of language, you know, respectfully, you can sign off now. Uh, this is going to be for June 2019, Sag, June 2019 energies. I've got a few different decks for you. Um, if you do want the breakdown week by week of how, you know, June unfolds, you know, the actual insight into the events as they're going on, um, I have a private Facebook group for that where I go live every week and do, you know, all the extra, all the extra stuff in there as far as my Zodiac Extendeds. If you want information about, you know, Facebook, Divine Rebel Readings, you can find me there. Just reach out to me in PM and, you know, I can get you all set up for June and all that stuff. So, without further ado, Sag, this is my Archetype Cards by Carolyn Miss. It's going to let me know where your energy is for June, where you're lingering between light and shadow. All right. What the universe wants to try and get you out of energetically and what, it, what it's pushing you towards energetically. All right, so where's Saggies for June? Ooh, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, we got gossip. We got gossip. Now, Sag, I know us Sages love talking. <laughs> love talking. Um, but make sure that just because you know certain things about people that you don't betray their confidences. You know, if there is private or secret information, you may be tempted to spill it. Um, don't go there. Don't go there. Gossip doesn't create very good karma, Sag. So um, <clears throat> I feel too, like, maybe be prepared, Sag. Maybe be prepared if People are gossiping about you behind your back in June, and you got to deal with that. It was 2:22 on the clock, so it might be, you know, two, you know, master builder number. Um, just know that moving forward, how you react to betrayal says everything about you. You know, if you're not betraying other people, um, and other people are betraying your confidences. Don't let yourself sink to that vibration. You know, that's their vibration. That's their karma. Um, people thrive on, on the power of breaking other people down. It's a, it's a shame. Really, it's sad that people feel powerful over the destruction of others. So if you're tempted... Um, just simply try and resist, you know, talk about other things, um, change the subject, you know, the light attribute um, that the universe is pushing you towards or trying to keep you in uh, is awakening consideration for the feelings of others and honoring trust no matter what. You know, if you are, if you are holding secrets for someone or you made promises or whatever, um, keep, keep your secrets, Sag. Keep your secrets. There's never any good reason to tell a secret unless somebody's life is actually in danger. There's no reason to interfere. There's no reason to try and empower yourself through um, negative speech ever. I'm very particular with my words personally, you know, um, I try and be as respectful as possible. And I think that as long as you hold true to that, Sag, the integrity of your truth without, um, cause they might very well be, it might very well be something worth talking about. It might be very interesting to some people to know, but the bottom line is it's, it's just none of their business. It's just not, and it's not your job to make sure that they know it either. The universe takes care of all of that stuff. All of that stuff. You don't need to partake in that. Okay. 
and know that if somebody, despite the fact that you're not speaking anymore, you know, if somebody has information on you or feels a certain way about you and they still continue afterwards to respect you despite it and they honor you, I mean, that's a relationship you could probably could, could potentially pick up on later, you know, because even though things maybe went and parted separate ways, um, there wasn't any actual burning of the bridge. It was like, okay, you went this way and I went that way, but there wasn't any, you know what I mean? Firestorm. So yeah, always honor the truth that you hold for people. It says a lot about you. It says a lot. If you are holding secrets and you are honoring them, Sag, good for you. Because there's going to be people, there's going to be people or energies like trying to pry it out of you. There might be energies, people with negative energy just trying to pull it out of you. Trying to trick it, trying to trick it out of you. Like, don't, don't give in. Don't tell secrets. 616 was on the timer. Don't tell secrets. Don't tell secrets not meant to be told by your tongue. It's not your business. It's not your business. All right. So chakra insight, Oracle Sag, what is actually healing during this month? What is the, what is the universe's focus in your energy that it wants to heal throughout the month of June? What is the focus of the universe is healing for you, Sag? Throughout the month of June. What is the universe focused on? Yeah. Maintain emotional control. Maintain emotional balance. Keywords are harmony, stability, peace and fluidity you got to take the light with the dark you got to go with the flow you got to take them storms and turn them into rainbows with that beautiful self-love cup you got take the light with the dark maintain emotional control if you're faced with people that would judge you or gossip about you or criticize you i don't care how long they've known you how well they know you don't listen to whatever it is that they're saying. Karma. Pray for people like that. They don't know what they're manifesting. Or they sure as shit forgot. You maintain emotional balance. You hold that heart chakra energy solid. That you can transmute it. That you can get hit. And take hit after hit after hit. With emotional jargon bullshit. And still come out shining like the fucking sun. Don't worry about what other people say in June. Don't worry. For every person you lose, you got another five to gain. Seriously. Don't stress. Don't stress. Stay grounded. Remember that beautiful cup of self-love that you are. That's getting ready to overflow. You know, the drips, drips, drips from the universe. Just filling up that cup until it overflows. And it's just going to pour out love and light. Like, trust, Sag. This is the end of a cycle. That's card number 27 to the 9. This is stability coming in from the divine in order to close cycles. Like, trust, you're in the, you're, you're in the end zone. Like, you're, you're right there at the end of the game. Like, don't quit. Don't get upset. No matter what. Hold your shit together. Hold your shit together, Sag. I know this Scorpio full moon energy that's manifesting. I know Sag has a lot of stuff going on in the cosmos that they're being affected by with this energy. So seriously, Sag, I mean, I think we might have the biggest roller coaster over the next month as far as cosmic energy. So trust me when I tell you, if, you, if you're manifesting tests to prove that you've learned some kind of soul lesson, it's going to come in June and you're just going to have to hold your shit together. Pass that test pass that divine task that you, you've manifested for yourself so that you know you, you don't have to go through this anymore. All right, Sacred Rebel Oracle by Alana Fairchild. What guiding energy would spirit give you? Two. 
Just ten. Okay, cool. Take both. Yup. Free from judgment, free to love. Free from judgment, free to love. Glowing in green heart chakra energy. Love lights are all around her. The universe is surrounding you with love. You're radiating love. Do not. Don't give a fuck about what this is going on. Don't care about these people. You remember who you are. You remember your love light. You remember your essence and what you're made of despite anything else. If this is a test you've manifested for yourself, you will pass it. And know the word wants to be written. The divine, you are literally getting channeled messages that are transforming your perspective. They're transforming your head space. They're transforming your heart space. They're transforming you at your throat chakra. You're rippling, rippling out like, boom, like airwaves, just sending out this massive awakened energy that other people just do not understand. They don't understand. People will call you crazy. People will call you all kinds of things. To put you down so that they could feel more powerful. Don't buy into that. You stay super clear. You are getting clear messages from the divine. You're clearly being guided. That's when the naysayers come in. That's when the gossipers and the rumors come in. Because the universe is going to try and break your ass the fuck down before you make it. The resistance is going to show up before you make it. Don't get beat. Don't get beat. You got this, Sad. You're way too close. You're way too close. And if you're working on writing something, get her done. Get it done. Put that ripple out there. Nobody knows your path but you. Amen, Sag. Yeah, your third eye is way lit. Look at that. Look at that. It's just... She don't, see, she knows this energy, this card, Sag, one, two, three, four on the clock. This energy, she knows that what she sees doesn't matter. This energy knows that what she sees with her two eyes is just an illusion. This is someone who is dead set on not being reactive. This is someone who's coming into emotional balance, which means they're not getting triggered anymore. They, under, they, they will understand and gain con, complete control of their emotions by the time that June is done. There will be no more reacting to things like this. There is only creation. There is only love energy. There is only the word that needs to get out. There's only the message. Only the loving ripple. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's where Sag is at. I like it. All right. Power of Love Activation Cards by James Van Pra. This is my Remember and Don't You Dare Forget deck. <laughs> remember, remember, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what. It'll help you through this energy, right? It'll help you through this energy for June as you're dealing with all your fucking haters, right? Sag has, Sag has haters. All right. <clears throat> what is it that Sag needs to remember no matter what to help them get through June? Humility. Yeah. You've developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are on the same but different paths. You realize everybody's healing back to themselves. Everybody's healing back to themselves. And if they're reacting to you, they're just healing back to themselves. You're not reacting. You're not going to react, Sage. Humility. You know that they're just learning. You know that hurt people hurt people. You know that when people get triggered, it's to help them heal. You get it. You get it. Maybe in ways that other people just don't get yet. That's why you're just kind of sitting back and doing what you do. 
You're just sitting back and doing what you do. Because that's you. Because that's you. You don't judge people. You just love. You just love. And people don't get what love is. You know, some people think love is just light. And it's it's not. And I think that's a part of the bigger picture that you're seeing that other people aren't. And they're taking it personal when they shouldn't be. People that gossip are taking things personal that they shouldn't be. And they're projecting it onto you. They're projecting their own own pain bodies out at you. So remember that's all that it is. That energy isn't yours. It's theirs. You love yourself. You trust yourself. You know what you're doing. You're being guided. You just, just do that. Just stay in tune with you. Stay in tune with your highest self. Everybody is healing. Everybody is healing. Everybody's on their own journey. They're on their own path healing. And we all heal different. We all heal at different speeds and different ways with different types of medicine. All right. 1616 16 was on the clock. So with that said, Saj, if you would like to know how June's going to break down on week by week, reach out to me at Divine Rebel Readings on Facebook and I will get you the details so that you can be a part of that. Until then, guys, until next time, love each other. Most importantly, love yourselves. Bye. Yeah.